Thanks for staying with us, right? Um, so, Senator Sunday Karimi, APC Kogi, has stated that there is nothing wrong with the purchase of 360 spot utility vehicles for senators of the 10th National Assembly. And his justification was drawn from a comparative analysis of the cost of technical issues and durability on Nigerian roads. He claimed that they wanted something that could be maintained for another four years and explained that the members preferred the imported SUVs to the locally manufactured ones. Now, reacting to the development, at a news conference, Senator Sunday wondered why Nigerians are not talking about the ministers who ride about uh, with four official vehicles. Nonetheless, the deputy director of the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, that's Sarah Kolawale Olu Wadari, um, disclosed the group's applications for interim and interlocutory Executory um, injunctions following reports of the lawmakers' plans to procure and take delivery of SUVs valued at 57.6 billion naira. And according to the report, each of these SUVs would cost taxpayers at least 160 million naira. So tonight we're asking. Do members of the National Assembly deserve executive cars? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to read one Okay, guys. Mm. <laughs> Do they deserve executive cars? That's the question. I don't have a problem with getting executive cars because ideally there are some jobs that, you know, it, like when you're promoted to a bank manager or stuff like that, when you're promoted to a higher position, mm -hmm. some of these jobs comes with executive cars and, you know, all the perks that comes with it. But I do have a problem with the exoticness of, of, of it, if, if, if that's a word, given the state of the country and the fact that there is a local car manufacturer who, whose products are as good as, as any other brand or, or if, if super close to the, the, the brands that you call your preferred brands in the world. And so if you think that his brand is not good enough for you, pay him more so he can customize the vehicles to what you want. Why do you have to spend so much of taxpayers' money? And then upon that, you're saying that the, the local brand, which the local brand here is, I mean, it's Innocent. We all know Innocent manufacturers in Nigeria. It is, is not good enough for you. And then you go around to make the statement about the roads, that uh, 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 why you need such cars is because when you travel home, that the roads are bad. Please talk. <laughs> 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 like, I don't even know where to begin. Like, you're complaining about the roads. Who is it? Your job is to pass bill, Abby. Your job is to raise up issues. The senators, like, <laughs> why are you there? To raise up issues surrounding the localities and then table it and say, ah, this is what is going on. No, this is bill passes through you. Budget <laughs> passes through you. Everything passes through you. And you come back and come and buy a car of 160 million each. I'll be how much? And you're telling me that the reason is because you don't want to travel home. If you travel home one time, that no, your car... But he has told you now that he wants a car that is durable that can last for the next four years. Which guy for, for, for this for, for four years in this Nigeria? A car that's durable does that. Don't be surprised that next 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 year no, they're gonna buy another one. My question becomes, just like uh, Sansi said, you have a local manufacturer mm -hmm. that has been established for a couple of years, and we currently use that local manufacturer in most governments. Like in Lagos State, they bought a lot of innocent motors mm -hmm. for police, for other agencies. Why can't the National Assembly use Nigeria made cars? Yes. I, I would love to hear why, and the reasons have to be cogent. Like, it has to make sense. We are at a point in time in our country where a lot of things are happening. Mm -hmm. There's no money in the pockets. Right. There are bills outside. And the bills are growing every day, on a daily so when you see a news, a news story like this, 
you are not sure exactly how you feel about it and how to react. And the reason is, we've gotten to that point where we have screamed and shouted. We're not happy about the current situation. Because this thing, if you want to shout about this, is like madness. Mm -hmm. We have bad roads. Nothing has been done about it. For years. For years. We have the roads that they're working on. It has been stuck. The projects have been on hold and have been stuck for years. Even in Lagos. Mm. And the roads have gotten and worse. And the roads have gotten worse. The other day, let me give you a classic example about how bad we take our road construction. So, you know the road behind... I'm going to give you a specific example. You know the road behind Mobile, here, right here in, v in Victoria Island? Mm. Now, that, sorry, in front of Mobile Filling Station. Now, that road has been bad for so long, for a while. And instead of repairing the roads, police went to create checkpoints there. So at night, when you're trying, and there are two checkpoints, because people who take that road are trying to avoid the guys in front of four points. Hmm. So they blocked those two <laughs> entry points. And they stay there and they keep taxing taxpayers. They tax taxpayers after we've had paid tax. <laughs> they tax you. Now, recently, just two days ago, I, went, I, applied, I was on that road. And I noticed that. Half of the road has been repaired. But there's another, the half, other half that was not touched. It's either it was not touched or it was so poorly done that the road has gotten spoiled bad again. So at the end of the day, it has become a one-way as usual. Hmm. And I, I now looked, when you look at the road, you see that half of it has actually been patched. So you're wondering to yourself, or I'm wondering to myself, what is the essence of this? How do you come to construct a whole road? Mm. You give a budget for the entire stretch because I trust my Nigerian uh, 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 people in power. They would give a budget Contractors. for the entire road, stretch of the road, mm -hmm. which is from Goza to a mobile, the, to the, junction. End, the junction of mobile getting into Ozumba. Mm. But they only repaired that patch and didn't even finish the patch. This is the same situation that is going on in different parts of Lagos. And this is what we can see. We're not in Benin. We're not in all these other locations. But on the daily, we get news stories of this same thing happening in different routes. We get news stories of people begging for 100,000 naira, 1 million naira, in order to put fences and to cover their broken walls in their schools, like in Benin. Mm -hmm. So you have different situations you have a lot of things happening in nigeria and then you hear a case like this where between 2011 and 2023 the <laughs> 53.7 billion naira on cars and those cars are not transferred to the next set of people no nope. those cars become private properties because even when they go into government house, they take the chairs in government house as private property. So how does this thing make sense? And how do you tell the people, how are you able to convince the people that this decision is a sensible decision and was not done by a crackhead? Hmm. You know, I, I, <laughs> I'm smiling because hmm. I said today I'm going to be chill. <laughs> today is not for me to be... Um, so two things you mentioned. You know, you were being generous when you said when they put the budget from Goza to the, the junction. I tell you, they can put the budget for the entire stretch of Ozumban, by the way, yeah. and just do that small patch. I mean, that's something that is common, a common practice amongst government officials. So let me come back to history, right? I remember very clearly that there was a time in our country where it was Peugeot cars because they had assembly lines here. They were assembling the cars. So mm -hmm. every top government official, even the military guys, when you come out of the military um, as a new recruit, it is a Peugeot car that you're giving as your official vehicle. Mm -hmm. And for th that lingered for a very long time until we started getting, you know, spoiled for choice. Now started looking into um, importing the Mercedes and the other cars and all of that. Today, it is so bad that we don't even want to look within where we are. Outside of Innocent Motors, not I, I was opportuned to i didn't even know that those cars were being assembled uh, assembled here in nigeria in unilac yeah right in unilac so they have gotten a partnership with 
Sterling Bank mm -hmm. to even bring in electric cars where now it will no longer run on just fuel. Mm -hmm. They use electricity to power some of the Hybrids. small um, ride hailing so that to make uh, um, transportation costs cheaper. 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 Even your, what's it called, your dispatch riders, mm -hmm. they have another version for them. Then they have another version for cargo trucks, right? Oh, They've wow. done three versions, all electric powered. Now, these are people that are thinking and they're seeing that there is a real need. And because of the fuel situation in Nigeria, mm -hmm. we're having these challenges and we need to find solutions Immediate to solutions. make it easy for the citizens to leave. Nord is one. GAC Motors, yes. just this week, mm -hmm. Lagos State Governor himself went to commission it. At least Lagos, they're, they're trying because Lagos State, all the officials, I see that they've moved away from all the very expensive. And again, mm -hmm. this is not because, it's because even the cost of these cars are quite expensive when you compare them yeah. to these other cars. If you go to them, so I was talking to the, the CEO of Nord Motors, mm -hmm. I saw the price list. The price point, at least for this time, it is fair. The, the price point. So when you go and you say that you want an SUV and mm -hmm. you're calling the likes of the Prados and the Lexus and all of those things because this is what they buy. In the 2023 model, right? Mm -hmm. what, what you are just telling me is that I do not care what even is going if on. you die. It doesn't concern me because I must, you understand, Get what I want. the kind of life that I want to live. And then comparing yourself, I mean, don't forget that some of these senators, or most of these people in the National Assembly, mm -hmm. most of them are repeat customers. That's true. They are repeat clients because mm -hmm. they've been there. Some people have been there for donkey years. Some people have been there since the inception of, uh, what's it called, of democracy. They've been, they've been inside that house mm -hmm. there. So don't forget that some of these people have been there. Beneficiaries. Right? They've been there for a very long time. So it is this mindset that I feel like Nigeria is a port of whatever. Everybody should just go dig their and this grab thing and well. grab the, the portion of their own national key. That's what we see happening. But all these things are what makes politics lucrative. Yes. And this is where we're coming to. So when we say, do the National Assembly deserve exotic... They don't even deserve a car. As far as I am concerned. Hmm. They don't deserve an official car. Right? These things are supposed to be in... You're supposed to do it as a service to the people. If the thing no hungry, if the thing is not working for you, resign mm -hmm. and go and get a paid job. Do you understand? Let's make it less lucrative. Because the truth is, the country cannot afford this. I agree. No, we are all suffering. Do you know that since Monday we have not had power, we've not had light in the office since Monday. We've been running on gen. And this is not okay. Sometimes, okay, you will see that at least the light will not come during working hours, but it's coming at night. Even overnight. Total blackout. So a lot of people are spending money on fuel and all of that. Instead of you to be thinking. Also, let me tell you something, right? Mm -hmm. If we solve Nigeria's problems today, mm -hmm. they are not plenty. Do you understand? If you fix the road, fix the infrastructure, fix power, literally, you can just go on cruising. Nobody will even ask you questions. Do you understand? Because it will just be on autopilot. All you're doing is maintenance. Mm -hmm. But you see, the fact that you continue to neglect what needs to be done, you're only complicating and compounding the problem. Because it's never going to go away. How can a senator have the audacity, the infantry, to come out and say that if I go to my village and I come back, I, has, I spend money on repairing my car, that means what you have just used your mouth to say is that you people are not working. Because how do we continue to have bad roads, year in, year out, new mm. dispensation, old dispensation? We continue to have the same roads, and these same roads are with, I mean, the, the, the budget to fix these roads are continuously reoccurring mm -hmm. in the budget. True. So what exactly are we doing? Are we jokers or what in this country? I thought you said you were not going to get upset. Was I getting upset already? <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> Let me open phone lines. I'm not talking again. Stay with us. Now, if you just tuned in to our Ladies' Night Out and we're discussing, do senators or the members of the National Assembly, do they deserve exotic cars? And please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 1803 
So, um, <laughs> when you have people that um, put, first of all, they're very classist and very, very um, elitist in, mm -hmm. in their mindset. This is what we see. When you go to other parts of the world where they have functional, I, I actually love the UK, where they have functional rails and buses and all of that, public transport. Everybody uses the rail. Everybody uses the, the train. subway. They use yeah. the subway, they use the trains, they use the buses and all of that. And it's not a you, class and thing. It's not, and guess like, what? What really upsets me is that these same members of um, governance, the people that are governing us in this country, go to these countries and use those public um, what's it called? Uh, facilities. Mm -hmm. They use the, the trains. They use every single thing. They so walk. Does, this, does, does it make sense to you that you look at it and say, you know what? Can't we, don't we deserve something good like this for us in our country? Mm -hmm. So even outside of all of these brands that I've mentioned, the North, the Innocent, mm -hmm. and the uh, GAC, GAC, there yeah. are small pockets of young people in the university. I mean, there was a guy in Ibadan that mm -hmm. converted a, a what's it called, which is part of what you know they're trying to promote now. Converted a, a what's it called, a petrol car mm -hmm. to um, there was one that did to solar and there was one that did to gas. Right? Wow. If we had people that were really, really keen on having something to be proud of, like this is our national brand, this is our pride, and all of that, right? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't we have those kinds of people say, you know what, these funds that we want to use to go and import, let us invest in these people, these young minds that have come up with creative things. I've always said this thing here that they say made in Abba, made in Abba. Made in Abba it is supposed to be our pride and our joy in this country. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not because of anything. The fact that they are able to replicate Production. things. What are you supposed to do as a thinking government? Are you not supposed to provide? So the problem we have is probably maybe the quality of mm -hmm. what they, the, the channel. What are you supposed to do? How can we find raw materials that will become quality so you hand it over to these guys and they replicate those things? And they are guidelines. Because guide sometimes, they sometimes what they need, the reason why they produce low quality is because of funding, right? So if I'm meant to get fabrics so or if I'm meant to get a, a proper leather and the leather is selling for maybe 2 million naira and I know that what I can afford is 700,000 naira, obviously I'm going to go for the lower quality one because life has to go forward, you know, and I have to make my money. However, I, I'm still of the opinion that, yes, give them their, their what is it called? Their... Exotic cars. Give them their... No, not exotic cars. Give them, give them cars. the cars that comes with the office, right? Because I think, honestly, like, I like to be in a place where if it was me, if you put me in a position and there was... A, a, a car or you know some perks that can, comes with it i like it i like good things i don't mind you know but then my challenge and that's still what i'm saying is the fact that why do you have to go for super expensive brands given the state of the country you can go find a gac suv which is i don't know last time i checked was like um like 40 something or they're about something million right you can use that and, you know let me explain this thing you just said mm -hmm. if they are ordering that much quantity of cars 360. There is a discount. Well, here, so 360 cars is no joke. Mm -hmm. Technically, when, when they order it direct from manufacturers and they say, bring in these cars, they mm -hmm. take out all the import duties, they take out all those things. Guess so what will happen? Cheaper. The cars will come in very cheap. But you see, when you have a government that every single time it is an opportunity to make money. It's where I have a problem. If we know we want to drink Gary, no problem. Let us drink Gary. Let's tighten our belt. When we finish this project, we can now we can now largest and everything. Mm -hmm. When you talked about your the car thing, let me tell you something. Yes, they can have cars, but what I'll say is, uh, but I think we have a caller. But what I'll say is, while we wait for the caller, is when I give you the the car, mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. your official car, I'll be deducting it from your salary. So for that, your four years, you will pay it off and then own the car. Do you Actually, understand? Yeah. Not the one that I will just buy you car, bam, like this. And four years, you just come and you know now. Because that's what, like, come most on. of the financial That's what they're doing. Yes, that's what they're doing in the bank. They yeah. give official cars, no doubt. Yeah. But the people yeah, pay for it. After service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, no, some people even pay for it every four years. If you want to change your car because four years, no problem. But you would have paid off what was given to you before. Mm -hmm. That is the sensible thing to do. That's what I'm saying, that we need to check, take government like we are running a business. Because if I was running a business, I would not give free cars. It's not possible. But let's take a call. Good evening. 
Kudu. Good evening, Good evening, Good evening, Loma. Good evening, Loma. Your life. I want to give you a small moment. Let me talk to our honorable member. See, let me tell you why I am one of the people that are saying that they don't deserve any power. I think what is fine. People are passing through pain. People came in temporary. No money. Our national assembly cannot stand up and talk to our president. The way you are living, the people who are not doing well, they keep quiet, but the only thing they need is a topic card. A topic card, when the gas price has derogated, when the fuel cost price has derogated, everything goes to the market to the whole cost of money. See, today again, they have bothered, our officially have bothered the whole crisis. These people do not talk about food and all that. So I am using this opportunity to call the National Assembly members to so don't deserve this class. People are suffering. No good government is suffering and you are enjoying it. What day? We all will die and do all these things. And the strangers will get it. Really, do they need good in this country? What? Impoverishing people? Stop allowing people to sleep going home without having anything to eat. It's quite unfortunate. You people enjoy it. Nigerians are suffering. One day, the Lord will ask you, what did you do with the power I give you? And each and every one of us will answer the question of what we did to this power that God gave us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, it goes back to what we were saying. It's just like when we were speaking earlier about the wired thing. Mm -hmm. So, wired currently is, at, I think, about 18,000. Mm -hmm. And Minimum wages, I think, about thirty something, thirty three or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, you are you are <laughs> you are giving the people, and you wonder why things are happening to these people. And I'm not saying, John, I, I don't know if you understand. No, I don't what I mean. think the thing is happening enough. You know that no. I used to say karma, karma, but if if I say karma is on a break, no, karma is <laughs> never on a break. <laughs> and you see, the thing about it is, we're talking about how to. Um, jam is about 4,000. All these things are... Yeah. Like, the the highest is Y, which is about 18,000. 18, yeah. Sure, there's no one that is up to... 50, uh, sorry, 20,000. It's not. Registration fee. It's not. Mm -hmm. And we're... Obviously, if you if you were to make some recommendation, you can say, okay, do you know what? We're going to do this from this age to this age or from this year to this year. Mm -hmm. We might not pay everything, but oh, what, what is being asked for is just the 18000 which is the registration fee, mm -hmm. because there are some people, and there are some people that will be able to afford it. So the same way, you know, Femi Otadola came out and pay and, you know, try to help some parents off, you know, alleviate this uh, fees. fees for for university. This is just for them to get into the university. So I just did a quick math for you. Mm -hmm. 16, 116 million yeah. Naira. Mm -hmm. Um, that's one of the cars would pay if we were benchmarking it at 18,000. It would pay about 8,888 8 students. Mm -hmm. And that is more than half. That is a sizable amount. That right. is a sizable amount, amount of, of, students. of students. So mm -hmm. imagine we multiplied this 8,888 multiplied by the 36. Uh, you're, so do we have up to a hundred thousand or five hundred thousand students writing work every year. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. yes, or what, so whatever it is, we're, we're, no, it's not even thirty six. Actually, it's supposed to be three because they're buying three hundred sixty cars, right? Mm -hmm. They are buying three hundred sixty cars. So if you do the maths, it's a sizable number. But you see, when we don't prioritize what needs to be prioritized, this is where we have landed. So we don't prioritize education. See where it's heading us. You are complaining that Yahoo boys are killing people every day. They will continue to kill. Because they want to drive those SUVs. Because again, they've seen it that if I don't have money in this, in this world, I mean, or in this part of the world, I, I will not, first of all, be respected. But you know what? We have another caller. Hello, you're live. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, you ladies are doing an amazing job. With, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you know, speaking about, you know, such a topic like this. Uh, most most people in Nigeria don't really bother about uh, people people in the National Assembly, in the State Assembly, 
you know, the local government uh, chairman, they all put the blame on the top executive, the governors and the presidents. And I believe the the uh, the, the, the presidents, the top executives cannot do what they do without, you know, the the the, the, the the national assemblies and the state assemblies, they cannot accomplish what they are accomplished, whether bad or good. They cannot do that. And no one is checking those people. You know, we don't even care who are the people that are even coming up uh, to contest for those seats. No one is really bothered about that. Everyone just, you know, hyped about the president and the governor. But what, what happened to the council that are coming, coming out in your constituency? What happened to the, the local uh, government chairman or the state assemblies? Are they credible? Are these people for the job? Because they are responsible for making sure that these people do their jobs the way they are supposed to do. Answering your question about do they, do they need uh, um, exotic cards? It's not, it's, it's not a big question. They do not. <laughs> yes, they may need official cards, but not exotic cards. Come on. It's ridiculous. It, it's an insult to, to, to the common to the common Nigerian today. That that, that, that that someone in the National Assembly is driving a car worth over 20 million and he, he goes hungry. Does that make sense as a leader? 20 million, okay. Thank you so much. There's no patriotism. No, 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 it's not even close. It's 160 million, million per car. I think, I think you we, know? Have, we have a huge accountability problem in leadership. Is it accountability? In, 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 that's not accountability. We not, have huge issues. That's not, not accountability. accountability. Is, is, is it's what? wickedness. Indifference, weakness, in cruelty. Inhumanity, in humanity, that's the word. Whatever you call it, that's just it. The fact that an average Nigerian is probably somewhere praying and fasting and praying for money to buy an Uber, which the average Uber car is about three point something million. So now it has gone up. It's about Thanks what? to your dollars. It has gone yeah, up. It's gone up to about eight million if you want to get a, a that Corolla. That typical yes. Uber vehicle. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Yes. So cars are no longer cheap anymore. Hence the reason why they will go wow. and get this. They will rather bring in the Suzuki that has been abandoned in a whole lot of other countries. And that Suzuki vehicle is not. It has been ab it, it has been rejected in a whole lot of other countries, especially even in South Africa. It has been banned, but is a lot in Nigeria because this is a dumping ground, mm. and that's because we as the people we don't even care for ourselves we don't care for our neighbors mm. so how do we what how is this our business when everybody's about money making? so i i want to go back to that part where they talked about whether they deserve i i'll still maintain if you want to give them cars just like the way they do it in corporate organizations where you pay over time right mm. first of all there will be a car that would be for your level then it will be over time so if you want to buy anything more than that, which is what I think they should do. Let's say, for instance, every budget for an official car is, say, 20 million naira for an official car. Mm -hmm. If you say you want to buy a car of 180 million, you will bring the remaining, the remaining 160. 160 million. Or we will give you the 20 million, you go and add it and buy the car you want to buy. When we start to do like those kinds of, when we put in those kind of huh. policies and all of that, you will see that things will change. Like, literally... It is, it is actually very insensitive. It's the height of insensitivity that these guys are, are, are actually displaying. That you think that it is okay when somebody is hungry. Do you know that as I am like this, in my, in my what's it called, tuke tuke car, mm -hmm. sometimes I'm, I, I am afraid to do things, not because I cannot afford to do them, because I know the people around me mm -hmm. do not really have. So you don't even, you don't, I don't even want to do any form of show off or anything. Just to avoid unnecessary attention. Yeah. People are on the streets, hungry. So people don't even have the next meal to eat. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And yet you come out as a national assembly that you're supposed to be representing Somebody the in a people. leadership position. You are representing the people and checkmating the executives. You come out and you say that you want to have cars that are worth billions of naira. That is the most insensitive and wicked thing to do and you know oh, but let's take a caller okay. then i'll come back to you sanzi you're live hello you're live abu abu you are good evening. Good, good evening good evening hello how are you good evening can you hear me we can hear you go ahead please okay i want to thank you guys for a wonderful job you're doing thank you and as we can be the looking 
but by national assembly, I want to ask a very good question. What about our opposition uh, members, the Labour Party, the PDP, and the NLPG? Why don't they reject it? If they stand for the people, to be honest, because the sincerity and uh, politicians, they think to be all the same. And I, I just feel that we need to do a lot to make this country better. Because almost all of them are the same. That's the question. Almost all of them are the same. The issue of I want to be in power, I don't want to be in power, when they get there, they don't bring them back in any longer. That's the truth. That's the moment to ourselves. Go to local government chairman. I'm going to get of uh, some uh, 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 monthly revenue. They can't give the local government to for a future. They don't care. So I think we should join sincere councils and pray to God for most of these opportunities to get to you in. Thank you very much. Have Thank you. Time. Let's take comments. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Abu. Nigeria is like big elephant. Everyone comes to take his or her own part for himself, family and tribes. It's very unfortunate. This is from Archie. Um, good evening, ladies. No NAS member. No NAS member. No. No, NAS, NAS members, members don't. don't deserve exotic cars, but functional vehicles like buses to convey committee members for... <laughs> <laughs> Oversight. Thank functions. you. If or uh, if at all any NAS member craves ex exotic cars, the NAS members sh can avail themselves of loans in the van. It's really inconsiderable that NAS members showing um, a lack of pa showing a lack of patriotism and sensitivity to the plight of the ordinary Nigerian at the time of unprecedented crushing economic challenges. The senator justifying the luxury SUV sums up where we are in Nigeria. If that's the quality of thinking from a supposed lawmaker, who, do, who did we offend in Nigeria? This is from Ni... Question. <laughs> from <laughs> Ni Inomoli, Lagos. Okay, well, this one says... Um, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying with hashtag ways. Do members of the National Assembly deserve ex exotic cars? To me, for now, the answer is no, and a capital no. Let them manage the ones they have for now. According to my dear brother, your caller, he said people are suffering. People cannot afford three square meals, and we are squandering money on exotic cars. If to spend money is hungering these people. Let them invest it on hungry people and other important things in Nigeria like education, agriculture, and other abandoned projects. We cannot say because the money is too much and we spend it care we cannot say because the money is too much, then we go on to spend it carelessly and ceaselessly. This to me is wickedness and inhumanity. Um, then he goes on to ask about Noma Uti and Chinelu. Um, they're away for a little while, though. They'll, they'll be back. <laughs> it's been a while. This is Daniel Ilo, Way's regular fan. Thank you, Daniel. So if at all the National Assembly must buy luxury ex um, SUVs at a time like this, with loans on Nigerian um, taxpayers, why not pr um, procure locally and inject same funds into the automotive sector to boost jobs and productivity? Mm -hmm. Americans love Japanese vehicles over American vehicles, but you'll never see the American president use a foreign brand vehicle. Same true. goes for UK, France, or Germany. These politicians obviously just ha got no clue their job descriptions or um, not ready to do it. This is same for me um, and Omole. He says, someone says it's um, quite a shame that the Nigerian National Assembly has finally succeeded in becoming the nation's number one enemy characterized by greed, insensitivity and lack of compassion 54 billion naira for lawmakers of a country whose national um, national government is unable to pay its citizens 30,000 naira salary in a month super shame indeed you know Nii said something and that's so valid because like the the in the US government you would never see them drive driving a Toyota or all of this, you would either see a Cadillac, it's a, a, Ford, shame. a Chevrolet, like 
You, it tells uh, a lot about exactly, your country. Exactly, it's loyalty. It says, so when we talk about this American dream and the fact that Americans believe that their, their country is the best, there are certain things they do that, that just powers up that dream. You know, and so for a Nigerian, the one that is, for a long time we were crying, there is nobody producing cars in Nigeria. Now, a couple people, about two or three of them, have raised up their head to a certain level. And instead of you to acknowledge these people, you are publicly speaking down on them that, ah, I don't need this one. This is the one I need. That their quality is about, below is, standard. Is, is below. Meanwhile, you should put together, you should have agencies that should ensure mm -hmm. that they follow a certain guideline to make sure yes. that their products that they produce in Nigeria are top quality. I agree. Rather than do that, you are publicly shaming yourself and the office you stand with by actually going ahead to say that the, Ni the Nigerian-made cars or the locally-made cars are substandard. It's inferior. Like... What's so, well, I want to conclude this conversation in my head to say that we are actually, um, our problem is deeply rooted in our lack of self-worth as a people. Because if you had some level of self-pride, there are some things you would never be found in. Do you understand? You would say, see, even if it is 2K2K, two two the Nigerian person is able to manufacture. I will sit in it because I believe, I believe in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. And you see this buy Nigeria first, grow Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It is Made not with mouth. Do you understand? Action. It's action. We'll leave it there. Thank and you so much. we have to applaud Lagos government. Yeah. They are only the ones and, like um, so far. And uh, even though Anambra, they... Anambra. Uh, but they, they rejected the National Assembly. So rejected. <laughs> No, no, no. The one Alex Oti is Abia now. Abia. Oh, okay, okay. okay. The, his national is the uh, is it commissioners no. or whatever? They they rejected the cars, but it is well. His mayors. Oh it dear. Is well. His mayors. <laughs> it is well. I just wish that Nigerians, I mean Nigerian leaders, can actually see the potential in Nigeria and begin to really, really, you know, tap into that potential. We'll get there someday. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you. Sanzi. Thank you, NJ. Before we go, ensure you follow us across all our social media handles. Listen to us on Spotify at Wayshow Africa. You can join the conversation, interact with us. Please don't love the show alone. Share with your friends and family to watch and follow the conversation as well. Now, if you missed our quote for today, it's a very long one from our dear senator. It says, somebody that is a minister has more than three land cruisers, prados, and other vehicles, and you are not asking them questions. Why us? <laughs> These vehicles that you see go to Nigeria Road. Mm -hmm. Today, if I go home once to my Centurion district, I come back spending a lot of, on my vehicles because our roads are bad. Oka Senator, if your road is bad, it's not an SUV that will solve the problem. Fix your road. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. <laughs>